Regular viewers of MXTV will know a couple of weeks ago, we showed you what to do when selling a second-hand bike. With the cash we got from selling the bike, this week we thought we would buy a bike and in the process, show you some little tips and tricks when you purchase your next bike. When buying a bike, the first thing you want to do is obviously choose which bike to buy. There are literally thousands of options available, but what you buy is obviously dictated by one or a few of the following. First, your budget. Naturally, this is different for everyone, but like buying anything, you need to know what you can spend. Unless you're a collector, the second thing you need to do when buying a bike is to ensure you choose one that is suited both to your riding ability and the type of riding you do, whether that's basic trail riding, racing, or whatever else you have in mind. Once you've figured out which bike you want, all you have to do is find it. And there's lots of options out there, but we recommend the internet at bikesales.com.au. The site is Australia's number one for a reason and offers plenty of benefits for anyone looking to bag a bargain. There are lots of reasons to use the bikesales.com.au website. Probably one of the key ones is we have the most bikes available for sale. We have tens of thousands of bikes available and one of the great things is you can search for the exact bike you want. So if you're looking for a particular make and model, you can search that way. If you're looking for enduro bikes, you can search that way. If you're after motocross bikes, you can just find motocross bikes. We make it very simple for you to find the bike that you're after. For those who are looking after a second-hand bike, the main search engine on the bikesales.com.au website provides two key ways for you to find that bike that you're after. The first way is you can search by make, model and year, or a combination of the three, and that will take you straight to a listing of bikes that match that. The alternative is that you can just search for off-road bikes. Then on the subsequent pages, you can further search just for motocross or just for enduro, or even for those kids' bikes. So we have a section for the little ones, you know, the Wee 50s and the 80s, etc. So it makes it very easy for to find that second-hand bike that you're after. If you've searched for bikes, but you've decided that there's two or three that you're really interested in, what bikesales.com.au allows you to do is to select those three bikes, hit the compare, and it actually puts the three bikes side by side and lines all of the features up. So it's very easy to compare on one page the three bikes that you're interested in. It makes the final choice of which of those bikes you're gonna inquire on a very simple process. When you've found a couple of bikes that you're interested in, I suggest that you jump onto the valuation tool on bikesales.com.au. It's powered by Redbook, and what it allows you to do is select the make, the model, and the year, and it will provide you with an estimate or a guide in terms of that bike's trading price, but also what the bike was new. As bike sales, we constantly are on the lookout for potential scammers who are placing ads. There are not many ads, if any, that get through our fraud protection system. Unfortunately, there are potential scammers out there. So on bikesales.com.au, we've built a dedicated help center. On that site, we have a range of hints and tips for buyers on uh, things that they should be doing or looking out for when they're going through the buying process. And we've put a lot of effort in and we continue to add functionality and features to that on a regular basis. Okay, we've had a great look on bikesales.com.au and I think we found the perfect bike. It's a 2003 WR450F. Comes with a pro circuit pipe, it's been serviced regularly and most importantly, it's in the right price range. Time to get on the blower and check it out. Once you've contacted the seller and have got a time to meet, there are a few things you need to check on the bike. Check the frame for any cracks or defects. This is obviously very important. Check all the bolts are on the bike as they should be, and there are no visible worn parts such as grips, tires, chains, sprockets, or brake pads. These are easy enough to replace, but if you find something, you can potentially use them to help reduce your buying price. Next, check the wheel and swing arm bearings. It's an easy check. Just grab the tire, and if there's any lateral movement, it's likely the bearings are worn. Then check the air filter and air filter box. If it's dirty, it's likely the bike hasn't been looked after as well as it could have been. A really dirty air filter might mean dirt actually got through to the engine, and if that's the case, you're in real trouble. Lastly, sit on the bike and make sure it starts. Make sure the engine doesn't have a knock or excessive rattle, as both are signs of potential major trouble. We also suggest you take the bike for a ride, but that's something you'll need to work out with the seller. Once you're happy, it's simply a matter of negotiating the best price you can and paying for the bike. Make sure you always get a receipt for whatever payments you make though. And if the bike comes with paperwork, like registration in this case, make sure you grab that also. Okay, there you go, couldn't have been easier. I've got myself a new WR, and hopefully you picked up some great tips on when you buy your next second-hand bike.